All right, good morning, Black Ops traders. You've already by now received your spreadsheet for the day. So let's take a look at where we are on the 60 minute silver chart. Uh, right now, as you can see, uh, we just tested that pulse wave support, and this, would, this should be the catalyst for uh, the next up cycle right now. We do have a pulse scan reading right now of negative 5.38. So technically speaking, that means we still have a lot of downside that we could go here uh, on the silver from where we are right now. Uh, your last uh, two bar Charlie was on this bar here, okay, at uh, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So while we were sleeping, you had a, a small window of opportunity to, to, to pick up a little long, uh, some longs here in this retracement. Uh, we're still in a down channel. As you can see, the blue line is trading below the red line. That is a, a bullish retracement phase. Until the blue line gets back up above the red line, we're still in a retracement zone. You also take notice that we're trading below the Kumo cloud here. All right, The consolidation only lasted uh, a total of two bars as we traded inside of the, uh, the Kumo cloud. And again, this is a 60-minute chart. So, um, this is where you're going to want to continue to, to pay attention. All right, you have your second pulse wave support here at the red line down here. Okay, and so you're going to want to watch this for your next uh, pulse wave buy signals. That uh, alert has already been issued. Uh, the next buy alert was issued uh, to, to buy the next pulse wave breakout. So we're going to be on our guard for that right now. Technically speaking, you could actually put put bids in right here at this current level using the uh, secondary pulse wave support as your uh, as your stop point um, that that's just one alternative if you want to try to get in there and and pick up in it anywhere from from a quarter to 50 cents maybe uh, from this bounce here off this pulse wave support that is likely uh, you also have strong support back here at these two, last two bars here and that's at the 4461 level okay 4460 uh, I would round it off say 4460 should be uh, a nice support and you'll notice that that is the long-term trend line support level so we actually spiked down to test the long-term trend line support and it looks like we're building a base here around this long-term trend line support area alright so that's 4476 so 4476 seems to be a strong support uh, of which to bounce from okay so keep in mind our profit target objective as well alright so again this is a good uh, a good place to test along using the, uh, the long-term trend line support level um, as your as your stop okay you could you could try that uh, and again you're looking from anywhere from 25 cents to 50 cents uh, on, on a pullback here on a correction from this these bars here okay uh, personally I'd wait until we uh, until we break out from the from the next pulse wave and again, that alert has already been issued in the trading room, so you know where those price levels are. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a breakout of the next pulse wave. So patience is, uh, is a virtue, and the next leg up will take out this resistance here of the 49.82 level. Okay, so this next pulse wave will have the potential to become a super wave once we take out uh, the current high of 49.82. We will at that point start the process of forming the next super wave a super wave as you know is good from anywhere from five to ten bucks alright that's five to ten bucks from that breakout level. okay so there you have it uh, those of you who want to uh, test the, the waters with a small position you can do so now at the 45 35 level where we are now again using the uh, trend line support as your stop uh, if, if stopped out then you'll get your uh, confirmation that you're going to want to wait for the pulse wave. Again, on intraday basis, we primarily trade only the pulse waves, as you remember. But uh, for those of you who are our, our cowboys in, in, in the bunch, our wild pirates who want to just uh, test the waters of action, this, this is not a bad place to get in right now. And again, you're looking for 25 to 50 cents. All right, so that's it on the 60-minute uh, silver futures chart. Just uh, be prepared. Understand that... Um, this this long term trend line support is is a very strong support. Let me just flip over to the daily chart just to give you an idea. Okay, looking here at the uh, at the daily chart, you see what I mean. Now, yesterday we got that um, the, the the negative swing VIX reading uh, of a, of the correction phase. 
and we were waiting for follow through so far the market has dipped below that and it's showing signs of a continuation if we close uh, here at these levels if we close around at or around the, the 4535 level that will set up uh, the stage for the continuation pattern and then at that point uh, secondary support does come into play secondary support right now in this market is currently at uh, where are we here we're at uh, 42.79 alright so again we're setting up 42.79 support to test if we close at these levels today alright pretty much anything below 45.64 sets up the um, the 42.79 and then we'll be looking to actually start shorting at that point okay so wait for the alerts before you do anything right now um, the only alert we have right now is that um, the pulse wave buy we're gonna buy the first pulse wave and then we're gonna take profit at the secondary pulse wave okay so that's where we are right now just wanted to sh let you know where things stand okay we're still trying to come into terms with, a, with correcting from the last two bar Charlie last two bar Charlie was here on this bar so the market's looking to correct that now and test the two bar Charlie so two bar Charlie is 43.56 that's what we're testing and we're gonna see if the market uh, wants, is gonna pull back further and, and have a complete test of that or if we're gonna bounce and rock it back up for here so let's just see where the bids come into play alright there you have it that's your silver uh, report intraday and remember take what you can and give nothing back